still made with the master plan. You still can't go without the plan. It's the world and open. People have always asked me about this arc, and I'd like to share a little behind the scenes with you. Maybe give you some ideas, and maybe you could make your own to do with whatever you like. Let's have some fun. So the original frame, I had just planned on making a model railroad out of it, and since expanded on the size. Uh, railroaders may recognize this as the dog bone shape. Meanwhile, I was at a convention and found this Teletran 1 set that was pretty popular at the time by iGear, and I was off. The set was a little underwhelming, though, in that you could only put so many figures on there, so... Heck, I think it was meant for an Ikea shelf, probably, at the time. And there's only so many tiles. It could only go so wide, so high, so deep. I thought, eh, it's not big enough for me. And they came with little clips to keep them together, but they weren't that great, and they kind of fell apart, and it was more aggravating than anything. So I made my own tiles. Got the color right, put them on label stock, and I could go as big and as wide as I wanted. I was happy with the test pictures I'd taken once I diffused the light. I was still unhappy with the size of the setup, though. I was still limited as to the amount of figures I could fit on it. Although the Teletran set was looking awesome, I still found my walls and floors were still a little dull. I did a search online and I was able to find these fan-made, royalty-free backgrounds to use. And I also made my tiles a little bit bigger, stepped and repeated, just so I'd have less seams and it would be easier to apply. And I made a Decepticon version too for perhaps future use. Okay, so now I have a railway hobby that wasn't going anywhere, so I decided to box that up. I wasn't about to tear down the frame though, and I needed a place for my new transformer setup. These things really write themselves sometimes, so that's what it became. However, the frame went the entire length of the wall, which I didn't need, but I could make use of it. The tunnel. The arc. The, the arc. The mountain. So I needed to make a G1 scale. No, wait. MP10 scale. Transformers are getting bigger and better, after all. So now that I had my scale down, I figured, okay, I'll make it out of cardboard, not just square, something a little funkier looking, and cheap. So I used some wood I had from around the house, and my tunnel was kind of made itself as I got going. Uh, then I had to make the iconic thrusters and the arc. I didn't end up putting it on the angle, though. It was just easier not to, and I thought, if this is going to get made, I'm just going to keep it simple. Turn the tunnel upside down, more of that paper craft design, which should essentially match part of the arc. I decided not to put the same tile on the bottom just because it looked too busy. And I had some help, as you can see. Wow, that tunnel really was dark after it got made. And I don't have my own matrix of leadership to light it up. Whatever am I going to use? Lucky for me, I live around the corner from a few dollar stores in my area, and I was able to find these lights fairly cheap. And they weren't the pointy bits, they were the flat-ended ones, which is nice. I could put them flush to the ceiling, a bit of glue gun, glue, and away I went. And thanks again, Milo. And I was really happy with the results. Because I'm going to be taking pictures in this thing, it had to look great. And then I added some other bits and bobs that I had around. Those bits on the top are actually from... CMYK toner cartridges uh, ready to be recycled, and I thought, they'll look kind of neat. And then, of course, I had to deal with the top bit, just to finish it off. Truth be told, I never really did finish this, and it actually doesn't exist today. I've dismantled that portion, but the basics are still there. The top is completely gone now, though. I was never really... Uh, <laughs> enthusiast when it came to that, and maybe I'll build it uh, again after all. Right now it's just shelves. But the rest of it has stood the test of time, and I was really happy with it. I've since added lights to the Teletran 1 on the back, again another trip to the dollar store at Christmas time, and just simply a couple of AA batteries, and I could, you know, different modes and whatnot, you could have this go on, and it's all hollow in the back, so I just drilled out a couple of the holes and just kind of pressed them in place. They're not even glued. Just kind of stuff it into the back, and away I went. Really brings new life to it. Over the years, I've kind of added things from garage sales and painted it up a bit. 
Again, garage sales. I haven't spent more than a couple dollars each on these things. I've started to make a Decepticouch and other things I thought were kind of neat. If there's enough demand, it gets made. Just like the Zeta toy set. I was really excited to try it in my own area. Way too busy for me. Don't get me wrong, it looks wicked on its own. And many of people have adopted these for their own. And the pictures against it look fantastic. And uh, there's also these cardboard things from... Oh, you can get them at TF Source. Uh, the pop-up dioramas. I really wanted to check them out. And they're actually not bad. Uh, you can get different heights, I believe. And these get sold out a lot. So if you're lucky, pick them up. The floor I added from a Toy Hacks single ones. Uh, I got them at a convention. They were seconds, I guess. So they were selling them for like a buck or two each. So I picked up a few to try them out. And I use them on occasion. Well, folks, as they say, this is it. Until, if I decide to make another one of these, perhaps if there's enough likes, uh, might inspire me to do more. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little behind-the-scenes look into my labor of love. It's certainly brought me many years of enjoyment and uh, just goes to show you can do it too if this is something you're interested in anyway feel free to share this out uh, that would be great comment i'd love to hear your comments and until the next time All right, guys, and freeze. Uh, okay, we talked about the social distancing. I uh, just got to change a couple things up. Five second rule. Hot, hot, do, do, do.